All right, making terrible games within one hour. I have one hour exactly to make a terrible game. Everything within the game has to be either created by me within that hour or found for free on the internet somewhere. Um, I'm feeling kind of rough today, so there may be a lot of coughing. Apologies. Um, today, we're going to try do a rhythm game because that's uh, the kind of thing that is super easy to do in a short time. Uh, I'd say that I do actually have a bit of experience uh, playing around with audio stuff in Unity, so this one might actually go well. It won't. All right, and we're going to start in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing is I've got Ableton preloaded here because the first thing we need is music. Um, so we're just going to stick an 808 on that. Just going to think for a bit. Uh, 808, nice straightforward guy. I'm going to try and make an actual club. Um, with a, uh, first. Okay, that's a single bar. Let's let's try and make it. We'll, we'll make it at least two bars of music. Okay, so we'll just um, what we're at one hundred and twenty. So why don't we just make it like that? Wait, shit, have I? No, no, it's into, but yeah. Oh, okay. That's the one. Should I move it back to two and four? Many people would say yes. Okay. Um, that's going to be good enough. Um, we're gonna now we're gonna export this um separately to uh go to MP3 yeah could do maybe my but no it'll be fine as an MP3 um we'll do it uh, we'll leave it forty four one hundred that's easy enough it doesn't really matter right ah uh, Jesus um where is Right, uh, nope. <laughs> yes, it's called Beats Able. Beats Able, rather. Uh, we'll just call this drum. Bam. Okay, now we're gonna add. Let's find another instrument. What are we gonna do? Um, uh, let's go with uh, some kind of synth lead sound. Oh Jesus Christ, that's awful. What about synth keys? Uh, fuck it, that'll do. <laughs> this is gonna get turned down because holy shit, that's so aggressive. Uh, bam. Um, and we're gonna set that to be two. Stretch it out like that. Um. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a sorry. What was it? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so that should then be uh, here and there. Yeah, let's see what that sounds like. That's better. Now we're just going to paste that there. Um. And then there, All right? Wait, no, that's gonna. That's why I'm gonna pop that. Let's 
Good God. Okay. Um, I'll make this slightly more interesting. I shouldn't waste time on this, but um, synth is rhythmic. <laughs> Yes, just that the whole time. We're just gonna have uh, this is just gonna be one and can I just make it that the whole way through? Wait. Yes, I can. I am going to make it a bit quieter, though. Uh, I'm actually going to make it... You know what? I can fuck with the volume... Right, we're going to mute this. Because I can fuck with the volume in Unity. So is that a good volume? Yeah, sure. Right, that's good enough. Right, and now we're going to... Uh, export. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking. It's going to be the same settings to the same. But it's going to be synth. Right. Okay. Back to here. Cool. We've got. Right now. Um, what do we? What do we need? We need. Uh. Let's just make a box. Um, there we go. We're just going to make a box for now that's just going to flash uh, when it is time to hit for now. Like, I'll probably get rid of it. Maybe not. Um, like that. That's definitely not going to get confusing. Okay, um, let's make it more the graphic, why not? No, I'm, I don't need to play around with these things. Right, what I need now is a, um, uh, whatever they create empty, um, Right, so what this needs is two audio sources. It's kind of convenient that it's already typed in. Weird. Um, and then just a script, right? So uh, we've got our drum clip and our synth clip. And they're going to loop and play on awake, and let's see what happens. Okay, there's a little bit of a, of a hiccup on the loop, but that's fine. We are going to turn the volume of the synth stuff down a bit, so that you can hear the bass a bit clearer. Well, that's really quiet. Okay, we're going to open up Audacity. Um... Can I open in Explorer? There we go. Right. We're just gonna slap that in here and amplify. Bam. There we go. Then we're going to export it. What? This is weird. Uh, quick access. There, can I overwrite it? Yep, there you go. Right, cool. Now, um, this should be way louder. Nine minutes in and I'm still playing around music. Okay, cool. I'm going to turn the synth back up. Um, 
and we'll see. I do, this is this is I should not be doing this. Okay, cool, right. So now we've got that. It's got your two audio sources. Now we need script. Um, music controller. We'll call it beat controller. Why not? Okay, cool. Um, there we go. All right. So first of all, um, this needs an audio source, uh, which is the um, beat source. I don't think I actually need to have access to the other one. Yeah, I probably don't. Okay. Um, all right, then we're going to do a public uh, margin. No, that's that. One day I'll learn. I've been doing too much Python. Um, and a private um oh, on beat so don't need that but i do want uh, my awake method so on beat is false right uh we're gonna do it once per frame rather than the fixed update uh why because i said we are um Check uh, is on beat. Okay, so what are we gonna do in here? We're gonna get the next so the beat is Oh, yeah, we also need, um, for now, we'll, for that indicator, we'll go with a public, um, material, and if, uh, on beats, and, uh, I'll, uh, because have a dot bread. There we go. Christ. Okay, so um, that way, if we're yeah, just for now, it'll flash red. Okay, so how do we get the on beat? So first, we need um, what do we want? We want, so if we want to be able to hit on beat, I'm going to give them a window because obviously the actual like instant of the attack, it's like, it's, it's the actual beat is a little bit broad, but also we want to be able to customize exactly how much leeway we give them. So if we take a chunk of samples, head of when they hit the thing and check if any of them are above the threshold we'll just do a volume threshold um, and if any of the beats from where you are forwards are above uh, the that volume threshold <laughs> um, then we'll count it as you're hitting it on beat um, so this should be a float array, I think. Um, samples is um, source, uh, beat source. Um, get, get output data. So, oh, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, that's the deprecated version. Okay, so num samples is going to be margin. Uh, which should be an it. Don't know why I made it a float. Um, and then channel is, if it's mono, you can check. If it's stereo, you can check one of it. So we'll just zero checks both of them. 
Yeah. Um, so then... Um, reach, um, int, uh, uh, s, and samples. Um, if... Um, wait, we want the uh, max... Max bar will equals zero. Now, technically, the volume goes up and down, but because it's oscillating really fast, if we take a chunk of samples, it doesn't matter because if it's if the biggest uh, if the volume like if the biggest amplitude samples are like minus five, then the next sample is going to be at like plus five anyway. So we only need to check. It'd be extremely weird edge cases if we didn't. So uh, if S is greater than the max volume. Wow. Um, max volume. Don't even need to do anything. Um, and then we do uh, if max val is greater than. Oh. Um, um, public uh, float. Um, I'll rename this as well. Um, greater than volume threshold, then um, unbeat was true. Yeah. That's it, right? Oh, we need to change the color back. Uh, else, um, I'm not color. Leave it white. Okay, let's see if that worked. I will need to. Need to put, put the, that's why I can't see any of the variables. I need to put this in here. Um, what? No, we want music controller. Do it there. Strip class cannot be found. What? Beat controller. Beat controller. Why can't I add that? Are there any compartments? Doesn't look like there's any compile errors. Um, I'm gonna say on awake. No, um, we'll bring back start just in case, and uh, we'll put um, debug help. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Right, get it to right now. It's gonna reload everything. It's recompiling it. B controller. Okay, weird. I'm going to move it up here because I don't really need to see what's happening in the audio sources anymore. Um, actually, wait, I do. Uh, th th this one. This is the audio source you want. And the material is this one. All right, how many samples do we want to have as a margin? So if it's, what did I export it as? 44,000? So, um, shit so if we did forty four thousand samples per second then we bring it down to eleven thousand samples uh for a quarter of a second and because we're looking ahead we want to halve that because it's you want uh, a quarter of a second on like across it like so eighth of a second so that's it fuck it five thousand samples that's good enough and Ah, oh, shit, what's the volume going to be? Let's say it's 0 0.1, because it should be pretty much silent if you're not, right? Okay, right, let's see if this works. Okay. 
I'm gonna assume that I've got the volume threshold too low. Too high, rather. Okay, they are coming out of sync. I don't think it's the volume. Um, Length, wait, what? That would explain a lot. Um, length of sample buffer must be equal, smaller than or equal to 16,000. Well, that's 5,000. That's smaller than or equal to. Okay. So we say so what was it? Fifteen thousand? So that's sixteen thousand, that's fine. Alright, okay. Ignoring the terrible uh, desynchronization, why is that not working? That should be float. Now let's try it. Just casting it to an end. Um, all right. Let's try, see what happens. It did turn it red, it detected it. It didn't turn it back though. Um, it doesn't turn it right. I'm so good at this, right. Look at that! Okay, why are they desyncing? They shouldn't be desyncing. Have I spent like 10 minutes trying to sync this music? Oh, it's because I made it louder, didn't I? All right, well, fine. Uh, I made it louder and Audacity added. Can these, MuseScore does that as well. It just adds like arbitrary, like why? Why are you adding extra stuff? Maybe it's because I'm making it MP3. Anyway, that's not the point. Right, it works out whether or not it's on. It's in rhythm. Um, that should probably be in. Okay, so now what we need is uh, the, the thing for the player to do, right? No, 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 that's not what I want. I want, um... Player controller... There we go. Okay, so... Is it going to do? Yeah, it needs to check whether or not it's on beat. So uh, we're going to have a public uh, music beat controller PC. And start. We're going to make PC equal to uh, just.
Um, yeah, cool. Um, so now the I'm gonna check if they're hitting the button. So uh no, you wanna check if they're hit when they're hitting the button. So uh it's gonna be ball is hit. Um, let's make up the space bar. Um, space. Okay, so then if is hit and on B is private. I guess we're gonna get Uh, then that's good, and we do two points or something. Um, and then else. Do you penalize them for? Yeah, let's. Ah. So if we do else if um is hit and is and not is on beat um else if oh say that is on B and not is hit. Not is hit, is hit. Right? So then that'd be miss. I could have combined these into one, but I think it makes it a bit clearer. And then we can worry about that later. I know, should move things with a different method, but I'm not going to. Um, All right, let's bring this up. And let's. I haven't put the player controller on anyone. Another empty player. Not going to do anything, but hey. Um, slam that in. Uh, it's going to find its own V controller, but that's there so I can check that it's actually happening. There we go. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so it is identifying it correctly, but uh, um Okay, so we need it to only count like once per beat. Um Okay, so what we need is yeah, just so I can keep track of it. Um bool uh as this beat. Nope. That
Right, so what we're going to do is um, we are going to move this all into a separate method. Well, we're going to make a separate method first. So uh, void um, track beat. And that's going to um, just Okay, so if 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 um bc dot is on beat uh wait so we we we, we want to check so if it's on when it turns on beat we want to this is basically a okay you can hit you can hit the, you can trigger these once per beat um. If you want to check whether it's still on the beat, so um, I could have another one. Uh, is on beat. <laughs> you might think that checking it, tracking it in two places is silly, and I'm sure there's a more sensible one. Uh, but hey, um, if right. So the, the options are it's on beat. Wait, no, we can just do if it's not equal to is on beat. Then we say um, is on beat equals bc dot is on beat beat. And hashtag beat equals false. And then we're going to do this check beat. Nope, that's not a method equals true. Give it here as well. Uh, and um, we're going to do if not, let's check beat. So we only do this once per beat. Or rather, we do this until you hit space or don't, right? Um, what if they don't hit it? So if they don't hit it, um, also, we never play track beats. So track beats okay so uh, so if we never hit it and we never get has checked beat and so this doesn't go through um Yeah, that works. Although this is going to be a problem. This would be a problem. So I'm just going to comment out that bit because uh, this, yeah, that that would be a problem. So now let's see what it says. Okay. Okay, so if I hold it down, it does count both of them. But I think that's that, that that's fine. Okay. Um So now we want the player to track a score, right? Uh um, score. Not actually score is gonna be zero. Um, can we make it out of, like, I mean, it's got, so every time, every beat. Yeah! Fuck it. Um, public int b 
count. Should this be? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. I'll work out how to do this. Okay, but uh, here is just is going to be score. Uh, punch plus. And I mean, so let's just go. Hmm. That's nice and straightforward. Uh, now beat count. We want it to go up every time there is a beat. This isn't the right way to do it, but hey, if is on beat, um, beat count goes up by one. Okay, so let's try check this. I'll be honest, I thought I'd get this done faster. This is sort of embarrassing at this point. Um, right. Have I just used the wrong input one? Oh yeah, I have. It's just supposed to be get key down. Okay, so you can't hold it anymore. Right, that fixes that fixes that. Uh and then we'll give it some TNT text. And we'll void text store dot text. It is going to be um, it's space, um, and then it's going to be score. Oops. Um, beat count. Right? Yeah. And then we'll do that as the last button on here. Okay. Uh, we need to add the score. There we go. And pull TMP. I noticed that first time, and I got straight to it. We're getting faster at this. Score counter. Sure. Um. Then the player gets that. And we're gonna put. Why is why do we always get given these ridiculous um positions? Uh, we're gonna put it up here. Give it a bit in and. down and then we're gonna make it bold big and allowed to be wider we'll just make this a thousand doesn't really matter um i'll get rid of that box and are we going to give it an outline a little bit um Okay, let's see if that works. So that's, that, that says that's how many I've hit. So maybe... Maybe the score and the hits should be different.
So it's only on this then that we would get hits. Um, so then on update text, we also do score dot text score text dot text equals score. Um, plus score to string, and then this is it's okay. And now we need a second piece of text. Um, just going to do that. What has it got in there? Just bring it down to like here, right? Please say the same color. color. This is the bottom one. I'm going to move it underneath on there. And that's going to be the hit counter. Right, this, the top one, will be the hit counter. It's going to stick out more. Um, and we're going to make the hit. Counter. Mm. We'll make it red. Same color as the actual um, beat thing. Wait, is that not what? Have I not? Cool. Um, that works. Um, what else would we add to this? Maybe make it look less disgusting? You could have some sort of like thing coming up because at the moment you just have to learn the rhythm, which I mean to be fair it's a good point of the rhythm game, but um Oh we could do like a score multiplier, couldn't we? Um so each each hit your score multiplier gets higher. Uh yeah, and then it resets when you miss. Um Should we make this more interesting in just a box also? Um, no. We'll make the score stuff more important. And we'll copy and paste it in the there. Uh, multiplier. I'm just going to move this around to the other side. I, I... I don't really get what's happening here. Ah, oh, these fucking things they always confuse me. We just gonna bring it all the way over and assume that that's fine. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we drop down to um, four to three. Yeah, see, that works. Um, and this is just going to be. Can we get like blue? We get purple, pink, whatever. That color. Okay, right. 
Um, we're now going to add multiply text. Uh, score is now going to become a, a float. Uh, we're going to go multiply. That's not a type. The multiply will also be uh, float. Okay, so real quick. Um, on text can you equal plus um, the string or oh, we we don't want to just have because that's a focus we want uh that's how you do all right Oh, that also needs to go on to um, the score, because otherwise it's getting rather massive. Uh, we'll give that two digits. Wait, does it need two digits? Well, if it doesn't, it's not a big problem. So, um, on here, it's right. Uh, what's the multiplier going to... We also want a multiplier um, step. So we're going to say on hit um, multiplier plus equals by step score or uh, plus equals one times multiplier and on a miss uh, multiplier equals oh it can't be it can't start at zero it has to start at one. Yeah, of course. Right. Uh... Sure. Let's try that. Uh, and we'll give them the multiplier text. And the multiplier will start at 1. That's what it should do anyway. And um, we'll make this step 0.1. Um... Let's see if this works. Oh my god, it really does. Cool. Um, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, oh yeah, this... I noticed that's multiplier we want to have. Right. Okay. That might be the reason, is that I made it fucking enormous. Okay, there we go. Let's try that again. See, this time, it doesn't... Right, we, I want to make it... I want to make it reset not just when you press space incorrectly, but if you miss a beat. But, by and large, that works, essentially. Um, there's no way to start, the, well, there's no way to reset the game or end it or anything. It's not like we have lives, so... Um, let's just change the camera to solid colour in the back. Uh, we'll make it black, right? And then if we take that the rhythm light, if we make it, I don't know, three times bigger. And then we just rotate it a bit.
Okay, right. We've got. Mm, C sharp script. Uh, yes, we wanted to rotate. One ought to rotate. Um, I guess let's randomly switch. No, you know what? We're not gonna go. We're not gonna go overboard with this. Um, I don't actually have that much time left. So we're just gonna have it be. Um, update is gonna be. Uh, public float rock speed. I'm just gonna go. Um, Transform dot rotate. Um, dot up. Um, rock speed times. I don't. Think, I think that's going to just rotate it around the relative y-axis. Um, let's see what happens though. We make speed one. Okay, we'll make it turn just so I can tell what's happening because it is rotating. That's good. Okay, let's make it a little bit faster. It's not really what I wanted to rotate around. Um, if we... It's just the axis. So if we... Back to 1, 1, 0. I don't know. I do something, hopefully. Sure. That's good enough. I'm gonna get forty. Um, can we do something with the background? No, right, let's see if we can get it to uh, reset the multiplier when you miss a beat as well as just... Right, so... Um, uh, so if... So we'll have to do it on here, won't we? So... Um, this is when it's switched over, if it's not... Um, if... Uh, not as check beat, and that counts as emits. Nope. Right, because that's so. If they're different, that means it's changed. So if they haven't, wait. not is on beat because that would just penalize them every single time it changed and they haven't pressed space which to be fair is yeah if they haven't checked it and it's i think that'll do what i want let's find out
So you don't lose points for hitting off beats. You just lose points for missing. Oh wait, you do lose points, but you can lose you can only lose one at most. Which arguably is fine. Um but we also want to switch these around because the first hit is always worth one point one. So that's better. Uh um This should actually happen regardless of whether you've checked the beat. Um So really this should only apply uh Zombie. Ah, no, because then if you. Oh, no, because you can't hold it down anymore. So then it's also and and not. Let's check the beat. Which means. Yeah, I could move things around a bit, I think. Right, okay. Let's. Okay, and we're about to lose the timer. So that is. the hour so we get to check whether it works the game is done let's see what we've got All right let's get our points back up points for just spamming it. Excellent. You don't get extra hits. Excellent, it works as we intended. Doo, 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 doo. This is not very good music. But hey, that's what we've got. Okay. Um, I would say that was uh, surprisingly successful.